Let's see what happens if we pry open this box called this. When the box is, is closed, we know that we put here 64 bits that are a block of plain text P. We put here 56 bits that are a, the key and out we get C the cipher 64 bits of it. So a block of plain text becomes a block of cipher text. And now the question is what happens if we pry open this box to see what happens inside? Let's see. Inside we see three parts. This is called transport transposition. This is transposition. And this is the mainstay where is the uh, processing is done with the key or the key comes here so the 64 bits come here into a sub module that simply changes the order of the bits it says bit number six you go to place number 17 for example or bit number 15 you go to uh, location number 21 just uh, I don't remember the uh, the instructions but they are well defined mixing the bits into a different order then you take the already mixed bits and you put them into the main sub module of this we will open it later but this submodule is the one that gets the key inside. The key doesn't intervene here. It only comes here. And the result is 64 bits that get out of this main submodule into the transposition submodule and from here out. So that is the first layer. Two modules of transposition in which we just change the uh, order of the bits. The key doesn't play any role. And a sub-module that uses the key, otherwise we don't need the key, and changes these 64 bits into these 64 bits. We will see later that when we talk about decryption, we do the same thing on the opposite. The feed comes from here, this transposition module is first, this is last, and this also works in reverse. And now, let's ask ourselves what happens if we open this box, this sub-box. That's next. So that is the sub-box. In this sub box, we have 64 bits after the initial transposition, and we have the key. Now, what the designers did here is they have defined 16 sub sub modules. 16. That work consecutively, meaning the bits come from here to this one then they come out and enter the second one come out enter the third the 16 and eventually it comes out into the big transposition that ends this now each of those 16 modules has an input which is a key and the key that comes here to each of those box is a 48 bits key. Now how do we get 48 bits? Is it the same? No. 
each of those 16 rounds gets a different set of 48 bits. And what happened here is that the key comes here into a key processor subcomponent that turns those 56 bits here into 48 and 48 and 48. Something wrong with my with my uh, pencils. So it is 48, 48, 48, and 48. And each of those 48s is different. Now what happens in each box? In each box we have a simple uh, repetitive. Each box looks the same as the other. A combination of substitution, proper substitution, where we take uh, some bits and say, oh, this combination of bits is substituted with another combination of bits. And there is a table. There is a specific table that instructs us how to substitute the bits that we read with the bits that come instead. So we have this uh, uh, substitution, we have a split, we split them the, to two, uh, the 64 bits, 32 and 32, and then we have concatenation, and we have a bitwise operation. At some point, the 32 bits become 48 bits, and we take the 48 bits of the plain text and match them with the 48 bits that are fed from the key production uh, mechanism and then we process an XOR bit by bit by bit by bit you remember the XOR operation and we receive a result this result uh, string is affected by what happens here, which is the result of everything that happened before to the plain text and the identity of the key. This is then the result. It feeds into the uh, process that is here and then it goes from 1 to, to the second 16 times. Now why 16? 1 or 12? Maybe some uh, secret IBM ideas are behind it. We are not sure. But 16 it is, and everybody has to follow this, in order for everyone to be able to read a message that was sent to him or her using this, provided the reader has the key. So that is uh, a, a, not at full specificity because I didn't describe how exactly this works. You have it in the slides, but it gives you the idea that the death is a simple repetition of the primitives of transposition, substitution, and split and concatenation and bitwise operation. That's what there is.